Hey, what's going on guys? It's White Gaming back again with some more Icarus. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you were all good, you've had a good day. This is going to be some fun stuff today. We've got some, uh, some spicy things that I want to go over, mainly revolving around this little bit here at the top, the workshop. Now, as many of you may know, Survive Icarus is a session-based PvE survival game. Now, that term for me, session-based, does put me off a tiny bit. But with the added notion of the workshop, that definitely changes things quite a lot. The thing that really turns me off about a uh, session-based game is obviously you go in and you will repeat the same half over and over again, where you're crafting, you're grinding, you're getting resources. But with Icarus's workshop, that takes away that mundane part of the game, which is really, really good. Now, before we look at it, make sure you subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, I greatly appreciate it, and it helps the channel grow a whole bunch. As some of you may have noticed as well, we have, um, we've we got some low frames sometimes on Icarus. Um, I think that is because I don't have enough RAM, which I'm looking at getting some more before the game launches. So hopefully that will fix the issue. But yeah, really sorry about that. I do try and keep it to a minimum and uh, only upload the parts that are good and viewable. Um, but every other game that I have works perfectly fine and I've turned all the settings down on this. So... <laughs> Strange, strange. Um, yeah, weird. Anywho, let's move on and check out the workshop. So the workshop is a really, really awesome thing. The only thing that I don't like is the research costs and how we earn these uh, these currencies, which are at the top here. Now, this one is just, uh, I don't actually know what it stands for, and then I'm assuming this purple thing up here is going to be the exotics or some form of exotic currency. Now, the pricing is really, really steep. It's 150 to research these three tools here. Obviously that's gonna vary, as I'm hoping that it will go down and we'll have a lot more items. So, you know, we're gonna have weapons, proper guns, bows and arrows, all that kind of stuff. But at the moment we've just got the ax, the pickaxe and the knife. And then over here we've got the XI Go S5-2 Enviro suit and then the Mark, well, the X Enviro suit, which, both of them are pretty cool, they're an upgrade on the standard one, and they've just got a few extra bits, but we'll go into that in a moment. And then the player tracker module, a mass dampener, and an MRE. They're all pretty damn good. As you can see, the prices do vary, with the Envirosuit X being the most expensive, which costs around 750 That's to research it and equip it. Now, every time you equip one of these, it will cost you that 50 if you go down with it and you lose it or anything happens to it, you've got to craft it again. So you've got to bear that in mind. It can get really expensive, especially considering when we go into the missions here, we're only getting around 100 for each mission, which I'm hoping that they do tweak when it comes to the full release. Obviously, it's a beta, so things are, are very likely to change. But at the moment, it's, it's a bit annoying because you just get that 100. So I've been grinding this mission like a mad one. And it's not varied either. It doesn't matter what you do, you're always going to get that 100. So I really hope they do change that. Because this mission here is go to A, B, and C, and you get 100 for it. It takes around 30 minutes. This one here took me around 18 minutes, so I've been grinding this. And go to A, B, and C, claim prospect, and bish, bash, bosh. And then up, if you go to like the bio-research ones or the extermination ones, you only get 100. But this, this one will take you around 45 minutes to an hour. So... I do hope that they tweak that quite a lot, quite drastically, because it's, at the moment, it's not really worth it actually varying the missions that you want to play. You just grind the one that's quickest and easiest to get the most. So for this, what we're going to do, we're going to buy one each of these items, and then we're going to head down to the ground. We're going to test them out and see how they work up to their craftable counterparts. So before we drop down to planet side and test these things out, the stats on them are absolutely amazing. So the axe, as you can see, it's got 42 to 45 melee damage, 30% felling damage, plus 125% yield from trees, minus 25% movement, and minus 15% attack. Same with this one, it's pretty damn good. We're going to get a hell of a lot more yield to bones and all that kind of stuff by using these exotic items. I think they're exotic items, um, I, I, that's what I clarify them as at the moment, until we do get a little bit of more, more of a look into the exotics and what we'll be getting with those. But it's really, really cool. How you repair them though, I don't know. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. I've taken down an axe so far, I've been playing around with that, 
Um, but how to repair them, I don't know. I'm assuming you just use them until they break, and then you can just craft another one. So then the Enviro suit, though, really, really cool. 5% physical resistance, 3 suit modules, oxygen slot, food slot, and water slots all in the suit. So when you start to drop, it'll automatically eat it for you, I assume. And whereas the standard one doesn't have the uh, what, uh, the food slot. So, quite cool, quite cool. And then these are modules that you can place in your suits. I'm not going to be using this one today because it's a tracker module and it provides data on other team members. So this one's going to be really handy for those that play in groups. I play solo mainly, so yeah. And then the mass dampener. <whistles> this one is a beast. Absolute beast. You run, you're like lightning. Like lightning, it's a brilliant and then finally the MRE, 100 food when consumed and provides emergency rations buff when consumed. Let's drop down and check them out. Oh god, just chopping his own legs off. What's he doing? What the hell is going on? I love like pressing C when you when you're dropping. It's just a beautiful look. Ah. So there we are. We are landing. That knife looks that looks really cool. Why can't I move? Right, so. Let's see what we've got. So we've got the food and water source. So we can put the food in there. We can put the auxiliary unit in there, which will increase the speed. Um, let's actually just put that up top for a second. So we're going to craft a couple of little bits, like an, a pick and all that kind of stuff. And we're just going to go for a couple of hits and just generalize and see what we can actually get from these things and, and the different values that we get if they are worth it that'd be great i think they will be uh, i'm fairly certain the amount that they cost um and from what i've used with the axe the axe was 100 percent worth the money spent absolutely brilliant especially just for little bits of building and stuff like that it was really really good the only thing i've not actually tested is if you can bring things back with you which can you? And no, you cannot. So you can't actually take the things back with you, which is a bit of a pain in the ass, because it's going to cost you a, a decent chunk to get everything that you want again. So it's a pain, but oh well, it, it's better than nothing, right? So let's destroy some oxide with the axe, with the pick. That'll be our first little port of call. We'll go for some oxide with a good pick and see what we get from it. First person's always better. So you know, I can tell already that that is a big chunk more than what you get with the standard. Like, that's a massive improvement. 47 we got from that. So that's even better than, uh, in my opinion, the standard. The steel variant that you use. Let's go find another bit of oxide quick up here. And we'll try that again with the standard pick. So we got 47 from the big boy one there. And here we go. So I can tell you now, this is probably going to yield 24, roughly. So we were on 47. We haven't even got 10. There we go. There's 11, 12, 15, 20. 20. So we, oh, it's pretty much double, which is brilliant. That really is good. So on this one, what we'll do is we'll chop up some logs. We need to craft an axe first. I like that this is... That you've got something to work out. And I think they look really, really cool as well. I would love the look of them. I think they're smart as fook, man. I can't wait to get stuck in with them properly. Like I said, though, the one thing that I really don't like is the fact that we are going to have to buy them every single time. I think that's a bit of a kick in the teeth, but, it, you know, it is what it is, right? Let's craft a knife and a bow. And two arrows, there we go. So... We've got our axe. Let's chop the tree down first of all. Oh, so... 
So it's one, two, three, and we've got 28 from that one. Let's just do the same thing on this one. 28 again. Right, let's use the shoddy one now and see what we get from this. Twenty. So we're getting eight more with each branch that we're destroying. Oh, twenty-two. Okay, okay. So it's not that bad. The axe doesn't really work out all that much different, to be honest. But it's nice. It does. It does work. Where the hell are we? I don't even know where we are. Oh, I know where we are. So now let's kill some animals quick, and we'll we'll harvest a couple. See, the difference with this is it's really hard to actually gauge because obviously animals are all different levels anyway. Uh, we missed. Damn you, fool. Aha, wolfy boy. Two hits to a level 46 wolf with that knife. That is very good. So what do we get? 16, 4, and 2. So the internals isn't really much. For getting the bones, though, that is a lot more. And we also, as you could tell there, the speed was just rapid, which is really, really good. I'd like to see a bear, really, if possible. I don't think we'll find one, though. Um, let's craft some bone arrows quick, and we'll try and get a couple more animals. Where is everybody today? I feel like everybody's hiding from us. I don't know what's going on. They're all running away. Did the music just kick in? Nope. Never mind. I'm hearing things. Yeah, it's very quiet around this area. Aha! There's one. There's two, actually. There's a baby deer and a shimui. I don't actually know what they I don't know how to pronounce the name. I just call him a shami. Boom! 2.5 stealth attack headshot. I can never actually get a stealth attack by running up close to an animal. And there's another one. So let's destroy this guy for his bones quick. I know you're not. it's not going to make much difference. I don't think the actual cutting through of them makes a difference. Oh, it does, possibly. You normally get more for wolves anyway. So, so we've got 22 bone on that one. See, there's a, we need that deer, really, because that, that would be perfect. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Um, right, let's chop him up with the normal one. Oh, no, skin, skin, skin him. Don't, don't just hack at the poor thing. Jesus. So that is roughly the same amount as we got for the other wolf. Um, the bones are about the same as well. So it's more attack speed, and I'm assuming a table would help a lot here. Although there's a bear coming. Why am I? Why did I do that? No, that no. Oh no, that was a stupid idea. Oh, oh no. Yeah, boy, come on, bear, come on. Yeah, my kung sui knife or whatever it is. Huh? Take that. Yeah. Now you know who's boss, fool. Got him. Ah, <sighs> well, that's enough excitement for one day. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is a little bit of a an overview and a rundown of the workshop. Um, I'm disappointed that we we didn't see it a lot early on because I think that would have helped a lot of players make a big decision throughout the beta. And. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't decide to put it in. It would have made perfect sense to have that from the get-go, really. Oh, bollocks. Um, it would have made a lot of sense just to have that from the start. But obviously not. So, for today, I think we'll leave it there. I've got uh, some tips and tricks, which I'm hoping to launch potentially the day of release or the day before. If you want to see them sooner, let me know in the comments. Um, once again, 
I am trying to iron out the issues that I'm having performance wise it is only with this game so I think my computer just might not be strong enough for it I'm not 100% sure I am trying to work out the kinks though so I'm really sorry and thank you to everybody that supported me and stuck with it throughout I know it can be a little bit annoying but hopefully we've uh, we will reach the end of it and and that'll be brand new and ready to go by the time the game actually launches so thank you everybody for watching i hope you've all enjoyed once again subscribe to the channel drop a like on the video but for today that is it i've been wired and you've been awesome we'll see you in the next one